Hi, this is Ali Duran with IBM Business Analytics Worldwide. Uh, today's topic is how to change default port, uh, HTTP and HTTPS ports that uh, Planning Analytics Workspace binds on your servers. Now, the default port for HTTP service that our Workspace uses, uses is 80, and uh, if you have an SSL certificate, then um, you're running HTTPS, and at that point, the port we will be utilizing is 443. Um, but there's a way that you can change these ports uh, before you start your Planning on Workspace services. Now, let's go ahead and start. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and take a look and see if my um, default ports are in use by looking at the res resource monitor. Um, if you have followed the previous video that I have put together the, to call resource monitor, you can run from PowerShell script resmon, resmon for resource monitor. As the shortcut. Now the tab that I'm looking for is the network tab and I'm looking for the ports that are being listened on this machine. Uh, the ports that are being listened are listed here. Uh, the ones that I'm interested in are 80 and 443 and looks like port 80 is currently in use on this server. Um, in, in my previous video I've mentioned to you that if the PID is 4 here, that's usually the IIS service, the Internet Information Service, the service that runs on uh, Windows 2016 on ARM or on any uh, Windows server um, that you have. So uh, if you want to use a different web page or if you're using it with a different application on that port, uh, you might want to keep it that way. Okay. And uh, if you don't want to change that port, then we should be finding a port that is available. So it looks like there is nothing else being used on the 80 range. So 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth are currently empty. I'm going to also look at 443. Now, even though I don't have the SSL certificate on the server, um, then at one point I might decide to use an SSL certificate and use HTTPS. And for that, I will be needing 443. And looks like the port 443 is currently empty, so I don't have to do anything about that one. Um, okay, so now that I know which ports are empty and what I can utilize, I'm going to take a look at my Planning Analytics Workspace service one more time. Uh, for that, I'm going to go to my uh, installation directory. Uh, for me, it's the PAW2030 is uh, the folder that I have installed it on. What I'm going to run is the script uh, that is going to start Planning Analytics Workspace. Now, I know that Planning Analytics Workspace utilizes AD and I haven't made any changes. I'm going to just show you what to expect if the port 80 is being utilized. So I'm going to start the uh, Planning Analytics Workspace services or the containers. Now, as you can see, my gateway is erroring out. As you can see, a gateway is trying to bind to port 80 because I haven't defined which ports I want to use on it yet. Um, because of that, because it's uh, currently be, the a port 80 is currently being used, uh, it cannot bind to it. So it's throwing an error message and um, without starting, it's just uh, quitting the uh, Planning Analytics Workspace start. So what I need to do is I need to define a new port that I want to use with Planning Analytics Workspace. For that, I'm going to go to my um, directory that I have installed Workspace in. It's on my D drive, Planning Analytics Workspace 2030. And uh, what I need to find is the folder called um, config. Okay. Within that folder, what you're looking for, if you're in a, on a Windows 2016 server, is that uh, paw.ps1 file. Now, if you're looking for the same file on a Linux environment or on an OS X environment, the file that you, you will be looking for will be paw.env. And uh, the structure of the, both files are, are very similar and they look like each other. The only difference is one of them is a PowerShell script, the other one is a Linux patch. Okay. Uh, so we're going to open it up, we'll just say edit with notepad and uh, based on the initial setup that I have done, there's four settings in here. We're using a TM1 native authentication, uh, based on the authentication done, I have the TM1 location, applications location, uh, APA authentication mode is TM1, which is um, native TM1 security, and then the TM1 login server URL is defined in here as such. Okay. 
So what I'm looking for is actually the setting that uh, Planning Antics uh, Workspace Gateway will be using for the HTTP port. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. Uh, it starts with $ENV for the um, environment section and then we have the PA Gateway HTTP port equals double quotes and this is where you will be typing in the port that you would like to use. Um, also, if I were to change my um, 443 port, HTTPS port as well, and again, similar uh, set setting. This time it's going to have PA Gateway HTTPS port and then we will be entering the, the port number to be used in between those two double quotes. Now I'm going to copy this over and then paste it here in my uh, paw.ps1 file. Okay, and the port that I would like to use in this scenario is going to be 82. So I'm going to use exactly the same settings, nothing is going to change and all I will do is I'm going to go ahead and save this file. Okay, now that my file is saved, what I need to do is rerun my process so that uh, the PA gateway gets bind to port 82. So I'm going to go back in here, uh, again, dot forward slash scripts forward slash pa is the script that I would be running. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And as you can see, there are things that are happening right now. It's still looking at all my existing uh, containers. It's staying up to date. And at the bottom of my screen, you're going to, if you're seeing it, it says uh, VSS initialization and also gateway is now done. So both of my services now have started. The port that I have right now is 82. Now, if I go to the main URL or the IP address of the server now on a browser, yeah, the IP address, as you can see here, uh, is the 169.44.169.44.164 and 102. You will see that my 80, which is my default page, now is looking at Windows IIS services, Internet Information Services. What we have done though is we have changed the port for Planning Analytics Workspace, right? So Planning Analytics Workspace now runs on 82. In order to be able to access that, I'm going to just go into my URL. And at the end of my URL, I'm going to put a colon sign and then add 82 and hit enter. As you can see now, I have access to my Planning Analytics Workspace login page. And from the login page, I can start working right away. Okay, this is essentially how you change uh, your default port on your Planning Analytics Workspace server. Thank you for watching and let us know if you have additional questions.